Hi, young scientists. Today, we're going to learn about how adding or removing thermal energy affects the motion, temperature, and state of a substance. First, let's talk about what thermal energy is. Thermal energy is the energy that a substance has, due to the motion of its particles. The more thermal energy a substance has, the faster its particles are moving. Let's imagine a solid, like an ice cube. When we add thermal energy to the ice cube, we're giving its particles more energy to move around. This makes the particles vibrate faster and move more freely. As a result, the ice cube's temperature increases, and its particles move more rapidly. However, the ice cube is still a solid because the particles are still tightly packed together and can't move around too much. As we continue to add thermal energy to the ice cube, the particles will eventually gain enough energy to break the bonds that hold them in place. At this point, the ice cube will start to melt and turn into a liquid. In a liquid, the particles can move more freely and take on the shape of their container. If we keep adding thermal energy to the liquid, its particles will start to move even faster and spread apart. This causes the liquid to turn into a gas. In a gas, the particles have so much energy that they can move freely and quickly in any direction. On the other hand, if we remove thermal energy from a substance, we're taking away the energy that the particles need to move. As a result, the particles will start to slow down and lose kinetic energy. If we remove enough thermal energy from a gas, its particles will eventually slow down enough to turn back into a liquid. And if we keep removing energy, the liquid will eventually freeze back into a solid. So, to summarize, adding thermal energy to a substance increases its temperature and the speed of its particles until a change of state occurs, from solid, to liquid, to gas. Removing thermal energy has the opposite effect, and can cause a substance to change from a gas, to a liquid, to a solid. And that's it folks!